What's up, Sakpase y que tal, mis amigos? It's your boy, Jamo, back again with another video. And if you haven't noticed, there's been like a little trend on my channel lately, uh, reviewing audio equipment. The reason I have been doing so is because audio is so important. Like, some would argue it's more important than the quality of your video. So today, I'll be reviewing a woke lapel mic. Yeah. So I have to start off by saying Woke sent me this uh, particular microphone, but they did not pay me for my opinion. As a matter of fact, we'll get into some uh, dislikes that I have about the microphone that I will mention later. But first, let's go ahead and get into what comes in the box. So the packaging is pretty simple. It's just a flat box. And once you open it up, everything is encased securely. It feels like uh, it doesn't matter how many times the FedEx drivers throw this around. Your equipment is going to come to you pretty safely. It comes with everything you need to get started. The receiver has a pop off bottom that once popped off. <laughs> Say that a million times fast. Reveals the 3.5 millimeter jack that you plug in to your camera or if you're plugging it into your phone, it also comes with a splitter. That way you are able to use the microphone while still using a headphone. So it makes sure it doesn't uh, take away that jack from you. It also comes with a charging cable that splits into two. So that way you can charge both the transmitter and the receiver. Speaking of the transmitter, it obviously comes in a package as well with a microphone connected directly to a peculiar shaped body, which is one of the only things that I have a gripe about with this particular microphone. Uh, the microphone comes with a wind guard or a plosive protector. No Peter Piper, Victor Peckle, Pickle Pepper test needed here. And they were nice enough to send a quarter inch adapter. So that way, if you're plugging into some heavier equipment, you can use it for that as well. So for this test, I actually used the help of a friend. We're going to go onto the street and see what's the range for this wireless microphone. I always like to see what's the range for the wireless microphones to see how you can use it. And um, also the sound quality, which is the most important thing about a microphone, to me at least, is the sound quality and the ease of use. So with what looks in the box, I don't think I need to read any instructions to use it. Let's just see what it sounds like now. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right, this is Pete. Uh, we're doing a microphone check, uh, checking out this range, checking out the voice quality, and we're gonna see uh, what it's looking like. All right. All right, so, okay. yeah, so uh, it's a nice day out here. It's a little cold, but we got the sun out, and uh, we just going to take a little and see what kind of range we got. Yeah. Okay, and so, um, yeah, so this is just, uh, we out here in Decatur and uh, enjoying this kind of winter weather, sunshine out, and uh, it's about 50 degrees, but nice. We're gonna go for a little skate a little later and just helping out the homie j -Mo right here with this microphone range test, sound quality, and see what it is. All right, how are you doing? How do you feel wearing it? Was it like bobbing and stuff? No, I wasn't bobbing. Just, I mean, the clip is cool. It's not in my way. I think as long as when you, wherever you set it. Um, so I hope it's coming in loud and clear, but it's hard to tell. I'm just talking to myself. Just keep on, keep on talking. But uh, no, it seems fine. I mean, it, it um, I think if you just got in the right spot, it'll be cool. So um, otherwise it doesn't get in the way. I forget about it. Actually, if I'm actually doing stuff, then I wouldn't even know it's there, but uh, no, it's not heavy at all. Um, doesn't feel heavy. Just, you know, at first when you put it on there, it looks a little cumbersome, a little awkward size, but 
um, I think once you got it locked in, then you don't feel anything. So, yeah. All right. Peace out. So unlike most microphone tests, I actually was monitoring the sound as we recorded because I wasn't the one having to test it personally. I was using the help of a friend. And I will say that the sound is pretty good. I'm pretty impressed by this uh, small package yet, you know, powerful sound. I will, however, say that I'm not too in love with the form factor. And we had a little issue with uh, putting it on my subject's body. And it's like, typically when you're using a lapel mic, you want to hide where the lapel mic is. But the, the, the shape of the actual mic is a little bit cumbersome. So when you're placing it on your subject, the, the form factor of the mic makes it kind of hard to be discreet. So I would say that the uh, pros would be that the sound quality is amazing. The cons would be the form factor, except for if you're using it for something like behind the scenes. I could see myself attaching this mic to myself while someone was recording some behind the scenes of me recording a professional video. I can't see myself necessarily placing this on a subject during a professional shoot because you would see it. And that is not usually a good thing. You know, maybe if you only saw just the microphone head, but the whole body. And I thought about putting it on the inside of uh, someone's clothing. But during this test, as you can see, once you get about 10 to 12 feet away from the camera if there's not a direct line of contact uh sight of contact between you and the woke lapel microphone then it will cut off okay it, it won't cut off but like the signal will cut off i will say the range was pretty good about 100 feet once there was a direct line of sight and that was when Pete turned around and was heading back to us. We could hear him from even a hundred feet. But once he turned around, as soon as he was about 10 feet away, that was it for the mic. So I couldn't see this mic being used in a professional setting where you needed to uh, record a subject that was further away from you uh, because if they turned around, the signal would be cut. I will say in the defense of this mic that you're gonna come across a similar issue as far as the range being affected by a line of sight for any wireless uh, lapel mics. Any wireless lapel mics, in my experience, suffer some performance issues once a body is in between the receiver and the transmitter. Now, they don't usually suffer as much. This one gave you about 10 feet once it loses that line of sight, where others may give you a lot more range. But the point is, if you put a human body in between a receiver and a transmitter, it won't go as far as it would go if there's a direct line of sight. That same thing goes with uh, concrete and large buildings and, and anything that's in the way of the signals getting to each other, they typically suffer um, when it comes to performance compared to itself, but not as much as this. I will say that the sound quality was so good that it makes you want to figure out a way to use it. And again, the way that I would use this is if I was recording something for a professional situation and I wanted to get some behind the scenes video, which I'm trying to do more of for you guys anyway, then I would be willing to wear this as someone who is behind the scenes that it doesn't matter if you see the mic or the, the base, you know, the receiver, and I could wear it while a extra person would be recording me recording a subject. But again, I wouldn't use it necessarily for my particular subject, if that makes sense. All right, well, what do you guys think of the quality of this microphone? I think it was pretty good. If you're interested in getting one of these for your behind the scenes work, the link will be in the description. Of course, the cost is also a factor for your decision. It is priced very well. And in that regard, I would understand why it doesn't go a further range once it doesn't have a direct line of sight. Um, that, that kind of changes the name of the game because if you're comparing 
the range, the quality, and the price compared to the range, quality, and price of some other higher end wireless lapel mics, it, it kind of evens out. And I didn't really think about it until I, I was thinking of the ending. So keep that in mind when you're deciding if this microphone is worth it for you. Again, it's always up to you to decide if this is going to work for you and your workflow. If it will, then you know what to do. Go ahead and leave a comment in the description. And while you're down there, consider subscribing. Button's right down there with it. And until next time, ciao. Down. <laughs> well, check one, check one. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Right down. Somebody steal your fame, yeah, this